Episode 12. This is how I'm running the electrical for my school bus. Check. In some school buses, they do have cigarette lighters. I have a short bus, which does have a cigarette lighter. It actually has two cigarette lighters, so I'm lucky. Some don't, so you're going to have to wire in a cigarette lighter outlet. But this is the best way i found to do it. Hold on. So I bought a cigarette lighter extender. That wire comes down here, crosses the floor, and... And comes out right here. I'll be plugging the power wire for my Blue Yeti in the back of here. Because you can run it by a cigarette lighter. That will power up this. For, and then I'm going to be running this. This one is going to go to the refrigerator. Which will be down over here. And then this wire I run the cigarette lighter. And it goes to... A fuse block. This fuse block is going to have the door lights. These are the door lights. They have on and off switch right here. So when you first walk in, you can turn them on, turn them off. There's going to be an additional door light in the middle of the walkway. And then I have three more positions on the fuse fuse block that I'm going to run power to um, USB and additional cigarette lighters for. Um, the 12 volt uh, heating blankets or 12 volt fan or anything kind of 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter for it and plus usb to charge cell phones and everything and on those we're going to have individual switches too so if anything goes wrong i have the switches there they'll each each of them has fuses and everything on top of a fuse and then it'll be i'm gonna be running wiring to uh once we get our max fan i'll be running the wires for that so this already has a battery built into it. it has 500 amp hours. It, I have not yet got this thing to halfway down running the, uh, the Dometic refrigerator that I have for a whole entire weekend. Then we're also going to have two 120 volts, a whole bunch of USB and USB-C here. And then these, if you have the Harbor Freight lights, I have the Harbor Freight light. I had to go grab it, but they plug into these uh, ports here. And then I will have additional lighting in the Harbor Freight. With, I mean, using the Harbor Freight lights. So I can hang these anywhere, hang them outside if I need to. So I'll be using the two Harbor Freight lights. And I also have extra USB, which I'll have USB LED lights running around the whole entire bus. With uh, hopefully a remote so we can turn them on in red during the middle of the night kind of thing. So we don't lose our night vision. But that's how I'm doing the power in my uh, school bus converted to RV schoolie thanks for watching